Are you drunk? Yes. Why did you fire Pete? Why did you disappear all night? Is this some kind of a power play? Yeah, yeah. It's not so fun being hands-on with these bloodsuckers, is it? Could we talk about this on Monday? No. I want Pete back. I want it in writing that Jenna's job is safe. And I want a cappuccino machine for the writer's room. Fine. I thought you were going to quit. Yeah, well, you don't know everything about me. You weigh 127 pounds. We'll be hearing from Peanuts lawyer. Good night. Sleep tight. Can't wait to do this with you every week. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you were right. I'm sorry? I can't do this. I can't manage these people. It was a disaster. What are you talking about? Everybody loved your little lemon party. Nothing brings a team together like a harrowing experience. You pulled it off. Really? They bonded. Good job. OK. I guess now I just have to read about how Tracy Jordan tried to steal a boat. No, I took care of that. The Peabody's will be getting some free rides on the NBC jet. There won't be anything in the papers at all. Really? What about this? Well, I had to give them something. Ugh. Don't worry. She's going to love it. That's just insulting. Liz, Liz, did you see me in the post? Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Look how thin I look. And look how many emails I've gotten. It's not even 8 a.m. in L.A. <laughs> Should I call Stern? You're welcome. I happen right now to know that I don't mean it. Don't mean what? What group home did you escape from that you would dare talk to me like some plumber's wife in front of Ron Gordon and Bob Overmeyer? I don't even know who those guys are. Oh, really? Your ignorance was obvious when you waddled up to me with your thin-lipped mouth full of greasy peasant food and addressed me by my Christian name in front of the gentleman from Fairfield. That's Fairfield, Connecticut, Lemon, GE headquarters. But how would you know that with your nigh 40 years of public education and daytime television viewing? If you ever pull a Bush League stunt like that again, I'm going to have you writing promos for arena football so fast it'll make your inexplicably small head spin. Oh, snap. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you said we were friends. I said we were friendly. Well, I don't like you anymore. I don't believe you. Go easy on the pizza. The thing is, if I'm gonna be with someone, it has to be a guy. You sound pretty sure about that. What can I say? I love a bald spot and a hairy back. You're alone there. I should go. I'll see you around. OK, wait, um, what if we made a pact? What if we say that in like 25 years, if neither of us has someone, we'll move in together and be roommates? And even though I am not into the sex stuff, if it helps you, I would let you do stuff to me. I can't be around you anymore. Bye, Liz. That's funny, that's what the guys always say. Who's going to go with me to cooking class next weekend? Well, if by cooking class you mean your bed, and by next weekend you mean oh, tonight. shut up. I can see your wedding ring. Idiot. Dennis, wake up. Huh? What? I'm going to burn the place down. I wish I had burned the place down. There's no reason to live anymore. What happened? The Islanders lost tonight. Doesn't that happen a lot? I knew you wouldn't understand. How did it go? He moved in with me. Well, of course he did. Ah, oh, Spalloni, how'd the, how the grenade not kill him? He was standing right next to it. You know, Liz, this, this controller is defective. Liz?
Well, I got started in the NBC Page program. And before you know it, I'm making hit movies with my good friend and roommate, Zach Braff. Hmm? What? Who told you that? Well, yes, I do know how to clog, but I don't think anybody wants to see me do that. You do? Really? Okay. You're a weird guy, Kenneth. See you tomorrow, Mr. O'Brien. Good God! Lemon! Mr. Darling, you open up. Please, Lemon! Everyone knows the most delicious part of the muffin is the top. My muffin top is all that whole grain low fat. I know you want a piece of that, but I just want to dance. Chick checking out my sweet hips, my sugar coated berry lips. I know you want to get with this, but I'm just here to dance. So back up off of me, you're weirding me out. I'm an independent lady, so do not try to play me. I run a tidy bakery. The boys all want my cake for free. Does she know we went off the air two minutes ago? No, she does not. Smart move. I served up the drama when I ordered to love. Well, I don't need this. Where the hell's my limo? Peace to the Middle East. I am the boss here, and sometimes that's going to make me unpopular. But the point is, I know what you called me, Lutz. Oh, I'm sorry that I said that. Please don't make me move back to Alaska, Liz. I hate it there. You can stay. But if you ever, if any of you ever call me that horrible word again, I will fire you. And you will never alter drapes in Atlanta again because you do not cross a sugar baker woman. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, you guys. Champ. It's Nani time. Feed me, Whoopi. What's this? I gave the meat machine to Whoopi. Goldberg or Billingham? Yasa, you know we cleave. Looks like Whoopi's made herself another billion Grifka. That uh, food ball? Let's get personal. Your father, Werner, was a burger server in suburban Santa Barbara. Yes, that's right. When he spurned your mother, Werner, for a curly-haired surfer named Roberta, did that hurt her? It was hard on all of us, yes. Hmm, flag, meg, glick, flag, meg, 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 tennis, meg, meg, was a meg, meg, flag? I'll always be his little girl. Glug. And welcome to Dateline. Chris Hansen has our latest investigation. Hello? Good evening, sir. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Can I ask you what you're doing here tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm here to boff some chick named Mary. Boff some chick Oh, my named Mary. Yeah. God! And do you know how old Mary is? Like, like 22, I think. Oh, my God. Holy oh, crap. That girl says she was 16, but I swear to God, I could tell she was 22. Get out of my apartment! This happened while we were broken up. No, 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 no. I was right about you. This is a con. By the way, you on Dateline is a con. You know what? I knew you wouldn't be cool about this. We're finished. You can't break up with me. I already broke up with you. Fine, then we agree to disagree. No, please, come in. The look on Bianca's face just before she choked you, that was the most satisfying thing. It was pretty good. Oh, just to know that she's filled with bile over me warms my heart. Atta boy, that's the Jack Donaghy I know. What are these, your uh, bike shorts? Oh, knock it off. Lemon, I want to thank you for showing me that I could have a pleasant evening with a woman my own age. I'm 12 years younger than you. A woman your age, then. Jack, wait. 
Oh my god, I thought you were... Oh, good lord, Lemon, let it go. That's never going to happen. I've been with beauty queens, yes, I get Pilates it. instructors, yeah, acrobats. I so I can take my shoes Come on. off. I had lunch with Martha Stewart and dinner with her daughter, Alexis. What? Write it down in your little I'm awesome book. Uh, where are you going? You have a rehearsal about to start. I stole a baby, Jack. I'm taking a half day. Fair enough. I have to do some thinking. Maybe it's impossible to have it all. Career, the family. But if anybody can figure out how to do it, it's me. That's going on. Ah, oh, nerds! I was talking about you at work today, Mother. I think my boss, Mr. Jack Donaghy, wishes you were his mother. Isn't that something, Mother? Yes, Kenneth, that's sweet. Do you have me on speakerphone again? Yes, ma'am. It's just like Charlie's Angels. Oh, by the way, did you get your old Halloween decorations I sent you? Oh, yes, thank you. I'm looking at the kooky skeleton right now. I love it. You're the best mother in the whole world. OK, calm down, dear. Yes, mother. All right, Jeff. One of these briefcases is filled with a million dollars worth of solid gold. Are you ready? Let's play gold case. That one. Congratulations. <laughs> you struck gold on gold case. <laughs> right. Uh oh. What? That one. That one. That one. Congratulations. You struck gold on gold case. Oh, gold's real heavy, isn't it? This game doesn't work. OK, my bad. Shut it down. This is Shut it down! Oh, That's come it! On. At least you got a clock radio out of it, right? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good for y'all. Here you go. Sorry about the mix-up. No, 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 no. They were delivered to you. They're yours now. Thank you. You're welcome. But could I possibly get a photo of you with the flowers? Like with your ID? Uh, oh, okay. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Just uh -huh. as proof. <laughs> all right. Great. All right. There we go. Oh, that's a cute one. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Because you're not saying very nice things. Girlfriend, Oprah was right. People just want to be together and get free stuff. I didn't really have to bring this. Oh my god, Tracy! Oh. Let's out of this thing. That's his last name. You gotta be kidding me, Donaghy. First Mr. Furley here disrespects me and then she shoots my business manager. I got blood on my toe. He's got blood on his toe. You're making a mockery of the Source Awards. Wait till I tell Tupac about this. 
I didn't hear anything. Good. Get him out of here. Your girlfriend got transferred. I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Blitz! You forgot to give me the key to your place, and I need it. My wife knows about our little secret. Uh, I don't know how she found out. Oh, God. Should have just gotten a vasectomy. Let me explain. Hey, did you hear the good news, J.D.? I'm Irish Catholic now, like you, Regis, and the Pope. Oh, 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 no, you're not. The church already has enough lawsuits. See, I could screw up now and then just go to confession. No longer do I have to throw my parties in international waters. That's not how it works, Tracy. Even though there is the whole confession thing, that's no free pass. Because there is a crushing guilt that comes with being a Catholic. Whether things are good or bad, or you're simply eating tacos in the park, there is always the crushing guilt. I don't think I want that. I'm out. Somehow I feel oddly guilty about that. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon at night. Oh, boy. I well, should have been at that meeting. Welcome to the Rockefeller Center Salute to Fireworks. Now, without further ado, three hours of fireworks. Wait, fireworks? In Midtown? On a day that's not the 4th of July. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. That's going to scare a lot of people. Absolutely right. I have to make some changes in my life, just like you have. Phoebe and I are seeing each other. Really? Wow, that's great. Now, you have a Floydster, and I have a Floydster. <laughs> well, I don't think Phoebe would appreciate being referred to as a Floydster. But you like her. You approve. Of what? Of her, for me. Yeah, sure. Good. Hello, I'm Phoebe. I don't know if you remember me, but... Yes, Phoebe, I remember you. Hi. Can I ask you something? Um, Phoebe, I want you to be my wife. Wait, what? <gasps> Will you marry me? No. Ruby Diamond Gloucester. I bought it back from the anonymous Arab. How romantic. Ow. Ow. Sorry. Okay. Ow. Maybe with Floyd, right? No, don't mention Floyd. Floyd is not happening. Floyd is moving. Floyd is moving? What did you do? What did I do? I acted like a rational adult. I didn't get engaged to some gold digger and then delude myself into thinking that I could keep up with her. Yeah, Jack, I know that you fell asleep on top of her in Paris. In Paris, France. I think you should go. Uh, Phoebe, darling, Lemon was just leaving. contact, huh? You're the only person I know who wouldn't hesitate to pull the plug. Mm. So when are you going to Cleveland? I'm not going. Are you getting married in two days? Oh, Phoebe is a lovely girl. But, no. What do you think of the show? Honestly, I no longer think you're doing a terrible job, and I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Jack. I'm gonna pull the plug now. Oh. 